This is part two of how to accessibilize a PowerPoint document. The Yangtan Institute's Kate McDowell takes us through the steps to turn the accessibilized PowerPoint into an accessible PDF. Step two, accessibilize in Adobe Acrobat. After opening the document in Adobe, go to File, Properties. To be 508 compliant, all PDFs must have a title, author, subject, and keywords filled in on the description tab of the properties window. Then click on the initial view tab in the properties window under window options. Change to show document title. Then click advanced tab to ensure language under reading options is English. If the document is in a different language, select it from the options. After updating the document's properties, go to tools and select accessibility. On the right hand side, there should be a list of tools related to accessibility. Select full check and start checking to search the document for any issues. Under document, in the accessibility checker, it may say title failed. Sometimes this happens even after adding the title in, in, in properties. Double check that the title is in properties and if it is, right click on title failed to select fix. The icon should turn green and say title passed. After that, only two other issues in the sample document should be there, logical reading order and color contrast. Because we use Calibri in only black, blue, or dark red font, we know our contrast is strong. Right click on color contrast and select pass. Next, we need to check the reading order. Navigate to the tags tab of the accessibility tools this may be on your left-hand toolbar already. If not, right-click and select Tags. Tags show the order in which a screen reader will read you the document. It is so important to look through these to ensure it will be read logically. To do this, select the first content tag in the document. In this sample, it's the first section. And using your down arrow on your keyboard, scan through the reading order. While going through the reading order, the image or text on slide four might not be included. Sometimes this happens due to no fault of your own. To correct this, select the reading order tool from the right hand toolbar. Using the reading order tool, highlight the text. After releasing your mouse, a blue box should appear from around the text and in the reading order window, you should be allowed to select content type. Select text to enable a screen reader to read this slide. You will need to add in appropriate alt text for some images. While going through the tags, you may have noticed that the Northeast ADA Center logo was only included on in the title slide. This is because in the PowerPoint, the logo is part of the slide master and is therefore read as background in JAWS. Now, run a full accessibility check again to make sure no other issues arose. Now we can right click on logical reading order and select pass because we've checked the document twice. Congratulations, you've successfully created a 508 compliant document.